All right, everybody, we uh, have to talk. I'm, I'm being serious, no joke at all. It is Friday, March 22nd, 2019. Um, I know you're watching the bond market, something I have been explaining to people for years. Well, this is getting coverage on all of the major uh, financial channels out there and I want to show this to you right now it's pretty epic the one month is yielding 2.485 the 10 year 2.459 this is a major yield curve inversion as a matter of fact I mean look down the curve here you got the one month paying more than the three month the six month, the one year, the two year, the three year, the five year, the seven year, and the ten year. And I'm going to show you this too. The ten year yield is only 2.892. Um, so the entire yield curve, not just the section that we were watching a little while ago, is inverting. And this is rattling the stock market. Although, our new friend, Stephen Beckner, when he asked Fed Chair Powell what he thought of the yield curve inversion, Powell wasn't concerned about it. You know, then he turned his back and walked off the stage. It's incredible. Um, obviously, this is a serious thing. We have not witnessed this since before the last meltdown. Now, I'm not saying we were at uh, an inflection point now, but I did explain to you that once this happened, um, we, the, the clock was going to start ticking faster. L let me put another perspective on this for you people, and I, I've covered this to the point of being almost incredible. This is no man's land. The Federal Reserve has no models to project or even predict what may come down the pike. Neither do we. This is a game, as we all know, of incomplete information is the truth. We have to assimilate a lot of things to try to gauge what more than likely is going to happen. I mean, yes, we can use history as a guide with regard to yield curve inversions. Um, and I'll tell you something. I almost want to laugh. I, I have to tell you, you got, you know, Bloomberg, uh, uh, Fox Business, CNBC, of course, all of them, now, the yield curve, the yield curve, the yield curve. You know, where were they? Where were they when this was all happening? You know, you, you, you're all laughing. I know you are. You're all sitting here laughing at, at these very nice people <laughs> that are, they just don't get it. Um, and again, they lead people right to the slaughter. It's the truth. Now, we understand a couple of things. Number one, we know this is going to balance out at one point. You know, no amount of propping up at one point is going to be able to overwhelm the overall market. It just can't happen. It's too big. Uh, and I'm referring to the debt market here, not so much the stock market. The stock market is the easy part of this to keep rigged. It's the debt market because it's monumental. Now, I just showed you the the yield curve. Think about it this way. An investor right now who wants to put their cash into a, a unit of debt, I don't know why you'd want to do that, would, would yield more owning a one month than a 10 year, than locking up their cash for 10 years. This is what I was explaining to you, I believe, yesterday at one point. Yeah, it was yesterday. Investors are going to say enough is enough. They're going to start dumping this stuff like crazy. Then we're going to get a spike. All right, we're getting the yield curve drop, 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 and then we're going to get a spike like this. We've seen this before as well. This is nothing new, although <laughs> I know I'm laughing here, but it's the magnitude here. There's nothing to compare it to, nothing to compare this to. Uh, uncharted territory. We've never been here before. So again, it's a game of incomplete information. But we can really make an educated guess as to where this is going to go. Look, we just got more bad economic news globally. 
Uh, the, the world economy is slowing down, and you know this. Regardless of what you are being fist-fed, the United States is not an island among itself. We rely on global trade these days. Speaking of that, President Trump this morning, let me get this right. I actually wrote it down. I'm not making fun of the guy or anything, but I just want to say, this is what he said this morning. Talks are progressing with China, and a deal will probably happen. Now, let's talk about how the market responded to this comment here this morning as well. So stocks opened up uh, in the red about 177 points. Within four minutes, it was only down 90. And as I am doing this video blog, let's have a look. We are down 217. So we got a pretty volatile day. Uh, I did take up a new position on ticker IWM. Let me make sure I get this right. I'm actually opening up my trading platform here. Okay. June 21st, this is when they expire, 153 puts. I'm already up 2.47% on that trade. All right, not much, but something. Um, look, here's the deal. The more coverage this yield curve inversion gets, the more spooked people are, gonna, are going to, unfortunately, be. Uh, but again, they've been blinded. Look here, don't look here for a very long period of time. People have no conception, you do, and so does Stephen Beckner, <laughs> truly, uh, about the yield curve. Uh, how important it is. The debt market is the largest aspect of this market by exponents. It's been propped up like we have never seen in the history of the world. It's a bubble of magnitudes. It's a financial Frankenstein. There's no other way to put it and it's engulfing the earth. There is going to be a moment like I explained to you right now. One month paying more than a 10 year. Who would want to hold a 10 You lock their cash up for 10 years. I mean, you can lock it up for a month and yield more. Does it make any sense? No. We're going to reach the inflection point when it gets dumped. That's when the big drop is going to come. Right now, yeah, stocks are down 200 and something points, but this is not the big one. Yet, the big one is going to happen when we get the spike, in my opinion. Now, look, this is a game of incomplete information. Could I be wrong here? Sure. But does it make sense to you? It should. Um, but let's keep our eyes on this. And... Let's get more people to understand that they're about to, at one point, and it may not be too far off, be absolutely fleeced. Uh, and the middle class will be nothing but a distant memory. There's no doubt about it. That's been the grand plan from the beginning. All right. This interest rate suppression scheme, and that's what it is. It's a scheme to keep pushing cash into the stock market and destroy the middle class. And, and every single world leader, every one of them, is playing the game with their central bank. There is not one exception here. There's none. So uh, understand that's where we are. Keep your eye on this yield curve. You know, usually when you see a situation like this, uh, where it starts getting media coverage, finally, okay, people are going to start paying attention to it. And that could be a self-feeding mechanism. And maybe that's the plan all along here, because we know what it is. It's to wipe out the middle class and and bring about a new two-tier society a feudal system I mean that's really what's being set up uh, I know you get it but most people again outside my window here outside that window clueless beyond clueless and they're being kept dumbed down and in the box on purpose but you're not and neither is Stephen Beckner I hope you're watching this, Stephen. If you are, send me a message later. Let me know what you think of this video. Anyway, I love all of you people. I really do. Keep your eye on this. And I am so proud to say, again, and I, it goes back to what I, I alluded to many times. All of you out here are the smartest, bar none, uh, on, on YouTube. You understand these markets. I've created, I think, legions of, of friends and lions that have a clear understanding of this twisted market. So you are going to get through this okay. Anyway, we will talk later, and I, uh, I can't wait. Love you all.